Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to back up a session and move that session over to a completely different TriCaster, restore that session so it'll observe all of your media and input settings that you've made on the original session. So the reason why you would do this is say you have a TriCaster in one location and then across town in a different studio have a same TriCaster but you want to bring that session over and not have to physically move your TriCaster, just back up the session. So let's go ahead and take a look at our TC1 interface here. And what I'm going to do is open up one of these sessions I've already created called Back It Up. We'll go ahead and start this. Now, two pieces of information. The media drive that you bring your uh, compressed file over with, make sure it has plenty of free space. And then also make sure that your TriCasters are on the most up-to-date software. So what I'm going to do in this session is just show you that I have a few pieces of media in here and a few settings which will then move over to a different TriCaster after we back it up. Okay, so here we are in my TC1 session that I built. Here I have uh, eight inputs coming in, some via NDI, some just coming in over a local source here. And uh, in my graphics bin, I just have a couple pictures of some kitties and puppies. And then in my graphics 2 bin, I have a lower third that's just says my name and new tech. So now what I'm going to do is back up this session. Now the way we do that is we'll exit out of this session, go to File, Exit. And in this submenu here, every session has this where it'll say uh, Live, where you can start your live production. Uh, also Graphics, where you can go to make your own custom graphics. And then also Manage, where you can go to manage some of your media and under session utilities here what we're going to do is click backup session and I'm going to go ahead and select my removable drive here and I have a folder here that I have just called session backups and hit OK and now this is compressing all of the settings and uh, media that I have to compress into this little file here so now what I'm going to do is physically leave my desk go grab this hard drive walk it over to a different TriCaster in this building and open up this file. Okay, so now I'm moving over to our lovely training room over here in New Tech with my removable drive. And what I'm gonna do is plug this drive into my TC1. Now looking at my TC1 interface here, my removable drive will pop up here in just a second. All right, and here it is. Now, what I want to do is make sure that when I create this session, I don't want to store it on the uh, removable drive. I want to uh, save it locally. So I'm going to go ahead and restore this backup session on my D drive here. Go ahead and select that and select my compressed file. Open it up. It's unpacking everything. And I'll go ahead and launch this session. And here we are. So my lower third is still here, and all my kitties and puppies are intact. And in fact, it even saved all of my input shots, including my virtual set on my desk that I am currently not sitting at. So this will also observe any macros that you've created within this session, uh, also any session changes to the streaming and recording, etc. So let me go back to my desk. So as you can see, backing up or restoring sessions is a great way to stay organized and to share those projects with different TriCaster users. Now keep in mind whenever you're creating your sessions to import all of your media coming from outside sources. That way you're not referencing a file that will be on, say, a network drive or a USB drive. And that way it's all encapsulated within your session. So that way when you back it up and restore it, everything's together. Now, if you like this demonstration and you want a little bit more, make sure you go to newtech.com demo to sign up for a personalized demonstrations of our TriCaster systems, and I'll show you the ins and outs of our TriCasters. Until then, thank you for watching, and be sure to tune in next time for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.